Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do the They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series. I will, everyone is bliss on this Sunday fun day. Hopefully you all have a three-day weekend, such as myself, and you're just relaxing, meditating, contemplating, and just connecting, grounding yourself, grounding your energy. Uh, so much is happening in the world, so much mass hysteria, mass shootings, and I will that you all, you powerful beings, are transmuting that negativity and turning it into positivity, turning it into beauty, love. Pray for this planet. This planet is going through a purge. Uh, we just went through that, you know, Scorpio blood moon, and our sign represents death, you know, so there's been a lot of that. In, you know, mainstream media, that's why I do not tune in, turn in, or, you know, tune into that energy because I don't want to perpetuate that. So I do focus on the love and light. So I hope that all of you, anyone that is affected by what's going on, I would definitely suggest you all kind of turn your TVs off, unplug, disconnect, and go out in nature, ground yourselves, heal yourselves, uh, and send up those prayers and petitions to the divine, to your angel, to your spirit team to just protect this planet, to bring love and light on this planet. Um, anyone that may be new, I welcome you to the platform. My name is Q, as I said. I too am a Scorpio. I am an empath and I channel messages intuitively. Um, and I also incorporate music into my readings uh, and they tend to blend beautifully, whether by name of the track, uh, the artist, or maybe even lyrics within the song. Um, they will resonate with what I'm channeling intuitively and what comes out with the tower cards and it all just blends very beautifully together. Right now we have Jay-Z and this is called Say Hello. So uh, what he says in the song is say hello to the bad guy. Yes, I'm a bad guy. Um, I come from the bottom, but now I'm mad fly. So that's like, like, I feel your anthem, Scorpios. It's like other people are kind of projecting and looking at you as if you're the bad guy uh, because I feel like you've set boundaries, because I feel like you've, you know, really been mindful of who you allow in your inner circles, your cipher. And so it's like people want to make you out to be the bad guy. People want to make it seem as if you protecting your energy is some some slight to them when in fact you're just doing what you feel is necessary to protect your energy to to protect your sacred space that you've created for yourselves um, so there could be a lot of people maybe there's groups of people this could be in a job setting um, that could be like sitting up and, and running rumor mills or gossiping and um, remember whoever gossips to you will gossip about you. So if people are coming and calling your phone out of the blue, wanting to discuss things with you that they may never have discussed with you previously, be mindful not to fall into that trap. Um, because I just feel like this is people who just kind of want to bring you down to their level. Um, you, you appear to be doing very well. They trying to make you out to be the bad guy. It's almost like they want you to be guilty by association. So if you've been running and rolling dolo, solo dolo, continue to run solo dolo. Don't be, um, I just don't feel like you should show desperation by hanging around people that really, um, never rocked with you like that to begin with. So with, you know, say hello to the bad guy. I definitely feel like you just have to take on whatever it is uh, that comes with the territory of protecting your boundaries. Because I do feel like there was some sort of ending, some sort of karmic lesson that was learned. A chapter has closed. Something has come full circle. It was all a part of your destiny. You learned those lessons. Whatever didn't kill you did, made you stronger. Whatever wasn't growing was dead and you walked away from those circumstances and situations. Um, those individuals that you left behind may be trying to paint you out to be the bad guy because when they left you, they left you dead, stinking, and buried. So after the tower, they watched you crawling and scrambling and you know coughing up blood, anything that you would, you know, can envision or imagine someone doing after they've fallen out of a burning tower um, and hit the ground with force, you know, that was a painful, and, and powerful ending, but yet you're here. And you're not only here, you're thriving, 
you're successful, you've rebuilt after whatever was destroyed, you've been rebuilding, you've established some sense of independence, stability, self-sufficiency, and you've also implemented boundaries. So you are um, in a space where you are only inviting those that can add on and not take away. So you don't want to deal with those energy vampires, those naysayers, and those people that run go you know, gossip uh, and, and rumor mills. You don't want that in your cipher. Um, you only want love and light. You only want to focus on the positivity. And so these people could be projecting because they thought that you were out for the count. They may have mis you know, misconceived your powers. They misinterpreted your abilities, um, misjudged you overall, but yet you're here, you know, thriving, growing, glowing. Um, there's been a leveling up. You've ascended somehow. Spiritually, you're stronger. Um, I feel you're emotionally intelligent. I feel you're also very intuitive, very psychic. So thing, your, your powers, your superpowers have been amplified to some degree. So that's just what I'm picking up um, intuitively. And that could be why you have some folks praying on your downfall. Because according to Jay-Z, we have uh, say hello to the bad guy. So now you're the bad guy. So right now we have um, Prodigy. And this is called Give Him Hell. Yeah, so somebody's trying to definitely give you hell. I'm definitely trying to give you hell. So I'm, I got the numerology deck. Before we delve any deeper, let me um, complete, you know, my house cleaning. Um, if you are new, welcome. I do hope you stay a while. If you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. This is a general reading. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. If you are unsure of what those placements may be, you can check the link in the description box, which states uh, you can generate your nail chart here. So click on that link, plug in all of the information that it asks. You will need your exact birth time so that you could get an exact snapshot of the celestial energy, what was in the stars on your solar return. Um, if you do not know your exact birth time, you can key in 12 p.m. for your uh, time zone, and that should still generate a um, snapshot of your celestial birth chart, okay? And you can see where you have other placements that way, when we say things such as check your other placements, you're not completely confused. <laughs> so this will give you a more clear and concise, um, you know, um, blueprint as to who you are, you know, as a person. And uh, you'll find it very informative as well. So um, check that out. These are also timeless messages. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, that was exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Okay. So let's go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity and vibration of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So beloved, beloved Scorpios. So you know me, I start off with the numerology deck on the bottom of the deck. Look what we got here. Rebirth transformations this is about you shifting shifting in your consciousness this is about you pivoting this is about you making adjustments this is about you being able to adapt this is transformative energy going through a painful loss but rising like the phoenix from the ashes emerging someone new this is about spiritual strength wise dome this is about sensitivity to energy psychically very strong receiving downloads 
transmissions, divine intervention, seeing a lot of synchronized messages, either through the times, through numbers, maybe you're bumping into the same animal totem, maybe you're having the same dreams, maybe you're seeing certain imagery in the flames of a candle or in the clouds as you look up, maybe in the water as you're sitting at that river, that park, that pond you're receiving these downloads these messages maybe you're having a certain sensation itchy palms jumpy eyes tingly tingling sensations dull headaches these are all the experiences that some of you all may be having you're going through and have gone through major transformations rebirth is scorpionic energy so you are the conduit of change and not only are you changing yourselves but you're changing everything and everyone around you and I feel that's why there was this element of you you know appearing as the bad guy people wanting to make you out to be the bad guy because you did what you had to do to level up to grow we have love so a past love is sitting back from a distance watching you transform change become the co-creator that you are also improving very wise they see you as someone very cerebral very wise very intelligent this is a past life love this could even be someone from your past someone you could be familiar with this is someone that realizes they have a lot of love for you this is someone that realizes that you love yourself as well we have Dr. Dre featuring Snoop, and this is called Next Episode. So this person does want to return for another chapter, for another, uh, I feel like they want another go at this connection. And spirituality is here. So I feel like they've been undergoing some sort of transformation as well. Is a sense of mirroring. Whenever I see double numbers, I feel like that's a mirroring. I don't read reversals. So we have Karmic Completion and Surrender. So these are two tens. So I definitely feel just as I said that there is um, a completion that you all have gone through. And maybe some of these individuals that you have had to sever the ties, those karmic cords, you have had to cut yourself free from these people and purge altogether could be feeling like, you know, you are kind of like looking down on them or you think you're better than them. And that's only because they could be in a competition with you. So that's them projecting how they truly feel onto you. Because I feel like you're just doing what you have to do to grow, to be better, to heal. So you're not doing anything personally. It's all about you making sure you're good. So this is work you're doing on yourself. The divine is, is really desiring... Um, or really asking, I should say, for someone to just surrender. Because I feel like there was some sense of like ego, stubbornness, refusing to allow things to happen organically. That's someone trying to control the narrative, control the situation. But we're going to see what the cards say. So Divine Spirit 11 Light, who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? So we have a couple of cards that just fell out and we're going to expound on these so we have patience so this is someone that you was very patient with you was very patient because you had a feeling that there were some secrets you had a feeling that there were some things hidden that someone was not really expressing or exposing or being honest about and so you kind of went within and whatever your higher self told you about that situation that's what you trusted I feel like you were very patient with someone, very kind, very open, very receptive. But I feel like you had to just cut that energy off. You knew that was the best thing to do was to cut it off because it wasn't honoring you. I absolutely feel like you've been patient for, you know, patiently waiting for something. And I feel like it's because you know someone could be in another connection that they are wrapping up. I also feel like you've learned to be more patient. What did I say about someone having an ego death and being very stubborn? And this is another 19, that's 10. So someone is having an ego death. I feel someone was also 
learning to be patient. Good things take time to create. I feel patience is a form of action. And so while we all expect, you know, something to rush in, I feel like the work we do on ourselves after we go through a karmic lesson or after we have some sort of traumatic or tumultuous experience, either in a love ship, friendship, a work dynamic, um, it is very necessary to do the work. That's why patience is here to restore the balance. Two is the high priestess, the high priest. So I feel like you trusted what your higher self said. You listened to the Christ consciousness and it led you to doing your work, to healing yourselves, to working on yourselves because you knew that there was someone privately in a connection or someone was dealing with someone that did not, um, that wasn't honest. They weren't transparent. They weren't um, forthcoming. I feel like this is someone who felt they didn't need to explain things they didn't need to um tell you what was going on maybe because this person didn't feel that they um owed that to anyone you know maybe this is someone very pompous i heard the word pompous give me one moment so that is somebody who was like you know going through some sort of ego death this could be somebody very conceited very self-centered this was someone who really needed to um change that ideology that belief system because the sun doesn't rise and set on anybody you know you're special yes but everybody doesn't have to treat you like that you got to treat yourself like that so somebody was expecting you to like literally kiss the feet you know the ground they walked on you know so i see a couple of cards in here just just all discombobulated why are these cards upside down i don't even read reversals but still like my cards to be the right side up at least all right so we'll see what happens so who's praying on scorpio's downfall and why may i have a message of love and light who's praying on our beloved scorpio's downfall and why so let's cut the deck we're gonna cut the deck three times three different ways And we got Hour of Chaos by Public Enemy. There goes that spirituality card. So what's in your overall energy is you have someone matching your fly, your vibration. This number seven is the crown chakra. That's also the number of the chariot. So I do feel like you could be dealing with someone who could have cancer in their chart or someone who could be at a distance. Someone who could have potentially been a little intimidated by your energy. Maybe they were shying away from saying what they wanted to say. Um, hiding behind the guise of being confident. And it was coming off as cocky or pompous or self-centered. Maybe this person needed to take some time um, out to really look at themselves, to assess themselves. Um, because I feel like there's a level of like you kind of teaching someone how to teach, treat you. I feel like you are in this space where you know your worth and your value. You've been really practicing self-discipline, self-care, self-respect, self-honor, self-awareness. And so this is also kind of like mirroring you're, you're you're mirroring to those around you what you are um expecting of them so it's like you teach people ultimately how to treat you and so i feel like you're doing that you know whatever it is you've been working on however you've been ascending however you've been transforming it is teaching those around you especially those that you have since um disconnected from disengaged from or kind of put in time out i feel like you're teaching them um, this new version, you know, how to engage with you with the spirituality. There could be a lot of communication telepathically. Maybe someone is dreaming of you having a lot of lucid dreams, vivid dreams, literally hearing your voice, hearing or smelling your scent. I get a sense of someone like turning around really quick because they smell, um, your aroma or maybe you're smelling someone's cologne or someone's perfume. Um, that could have transitioned into the spirit realm. Um, but there is this smell, this lingering smell. Maybe you're even smelling like tobacco smoke, cigarette smoke. Um, and that's also a sign that your ancestors are near um, because you'll smell that, especially if they smoked when they were in this physical reality and then you smell it. And it, it's a very powerful um, 
encounter. And so that is letting you know your ancestors are around you. This is Memorial Day weekend, so a lot of you could also be memorializing your loved ones, putting flowers on their burial sites, um, you know, pouring out libation, alcohol, blowing tobacco, um, just dedicating more time, connecting and um, showing love to your ancestors. I do feel like you've also um, matured. You've come into spiritual alignment uh, and whoever you're attracting is also a like mind. They are um, sharing the same likeness. So they've gone through similar experiences, similar lessons. Um, so there will be this, this, this synergy, this chemistry, this familiarity when you meet whoever this person is. This feels very past life vibes to me. Um, this could also be someone that you know from your past. Uh, this is not a toxic ex. This is just someone you know. So this could be a friend. Um, this could be a former colleague, neighbor, uh, someone you grew up with. Uh, but I don't feel this is like an ex love. I feel this is someone who's honestly, you've never been in a relationship with. Um, maybe you two were cordial or maybe there was a friends with benefits type of vibe. Uh, and maybe one or both of you wanted more, but it wasn't expressed. Or maybe someone shied away from initiating that before, um, you know, prematurely. They just shied away from it. And it was because I feel there was still some sort of karmic ties. So they weren't fully committed. You know, they couldn't fully commit to the situation, even though everything in their being, in their fabric of their being, wanted to. But they couldn't because they were still trying to close out a cycle because I saw that uh, karmic completion. So they have completed a cycle with the spirituality. That's letting me know that you and this person have a more profound connection is deeper than just a physical attraction or just you share a likeness, um, whether to the same, um, you have the same interests, you know, even in um, food or music. It, it's more of like, like I said, a synergy and a chemistry. It's something that's unspoken. There's a, there's a chemistry and a connectivity that's unspoken. So it's on a spiritual level. So let's see. So we have spirituality. This is the overall energy. So you're coming into a very spiritual union, a very powerful connection. I feel you've grown spiritually. This person you're attracting, your twin flame, soulmate, the divine masculine or the divine feminine. This is that yin yang energy. There is this 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 um, mirroring. Whenever I see double numbers, I always feel that there is a mirroring between you and your divine counterpart. And because this is seven, I do feel there could potentially be a distance between you and this person where travel is necessary. And it could be either physical distance or just emotional distance. Someone is working up the strength, courage, and the wisdom to come towards you so they could be strategizing a plan. This is someone I feel that desperately desires communication. This is someone that really wants to communicate, really wants to set the record straight, really wants to clear the air because there were some things they may have said prematurely. Possibly there could have been other options. They could have got distracted by those distractions and that led you on a path of moving forward and doing what you felt you needed to do while leaving them behind. And so say hello to the bad guy. This person wants to return. Maybe they're looking at you like, oh, you left me. You just dissed me, you know, and it's like, well, say hello to the bad guy. Yeah, I'm a bad guy. You know what I'm saying? But you came from the bottom. So when you make it all the way to the seventh chakra, that's the crown chakra. That's the highest chakra. Um, that means that you've done a lot of work unblocking all of those other chakras. So there's been a lot of healing soul searching, re, you know, reflecting, introspecting and releasing, letting go, purging people, places, things, circumstances, belief systems, ideologies, things that don't serve your highest good. And also, you know, this is the awakening, you know, that Christ consciousness that you also tap into. So with the spirituality, this is like whatever isn't growing is dead. And that's the consciousness. That's the that's the mentality that you have. If you're putting time and energy into something and you don't see where it's going to grow or blossom, then you're off that because you're not wasting your time. And I feel like with um, LL Cool J, we got mama said knock you out. So I feel like somebody definitely 
um, was listening to their mother. Maybe their mother could be the karmic. They could be listening to someone who is acting like a mother, maybe the mother of their child. But someone was interfering with a connection because of what their mother said. Because we have L.O. Cool J here. So they was trying to play cool, trying to play suave. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like that smooth operator. But what they really wanted was to connect. But because their mama said not to do it, then they didn't fully commit or they didn't fully express themselves. They didn't fully of allow themselves to be vulnerable in the connection with leadership. 81. This is something this person had to learn how to be assertive. The seven, seven, like I said, that's the chariot. It's all about how you assert yourself, how you um, display that courage. You know, it's also about balance emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Being able to control the chariot requires you to be in balance and in control. And so I feel like someone lacked the leadership skills because they had a mama in their ear. It could have been a mother, their maternal figure, or it could have been someone that was like a baby mama or someone that they were living with, you know, like the mother to their children. Or maybe they were acting as, you know, um, you know, the parent of someone's child. But this mama figure, this mother figure, this feminine energy, even if it was a masculine energy they were listening to, they, it was leading them astray. And they needed to trust their own intuition. They needed to trust their own inner wisdom and not let mama tell them anything because they're quite grown. So mama said, you know, potentially to, to cut you off or to not pursue you because maybe mama had more of a connection and attachment to the former person, the karmic. But mama doesn't know what's best for her son or for her daughter because the son and daughter isn't really expressing what they deeply feel. And even if they are, the mama thinks mama knows best. And only you can make that decision of what's best for you because only you know who you're truly connected with. Something can look really good for everybody else on the outside, you know, for societal purposes, people will be like, oh, you should be with this one because it just looks better for everybody else. But when, it, when you're going according to your feelings and like I said, that synergy and that chemistry, that likeness that you share with another person, that, that's, that, those are the things that are unspoken. Those are things that are undescribable. They're indescribable. You can't describe that to mom when she's telling you, you know, her humble opinion. You can't explain those feelings and the intensification of that passion that's bubbling up inside of you. Whenever the thought, the mere thought of that Scorpio person pops up in your head. Mama don't know what's best then. Only you do. So this person is now gaining a sense of spiritual strength, trusting now their own intuition, using now their own discernment. So they're matching you in that regard. They're also at this space where they have done a lot of inner work. So the hermit is a wizard and he knows the answers he seeks are found within. This person realizes I have to be a leader. I got to lead. I can't follow behind what someone else tells me to do. I can't do what this one tells me to do because that's not following my own passion. I'm not prioritizing my needs and wants. I'm not showing myself love. So this person is now learning to be a leader. This is someone that is absolutely learning to assert themselves, to go after what they want unapologetically and fearlessly nonetheless. So we have OGC and this is called Hurricane Strange. So who is this person Scorpio is attracting? And um, that's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. Thank you, spirit. So we have love partnership. So the person that you're attracting, this is a love partnership. This could be someone that you walked away from or someone that could have potentially walked away from you. This is 26 with that love partnership. I definitely feel this person sees you as a wish fulfillment because they see you as someone who is very self loving self. You, you, you practice and implement self care. Period. You're not doing anything if it doesn't honor you, value you. 
if it doesn't make you feel good and you're trusting your intuition when it comes to everything. So if something doesn't feel right or sit right, if your energy gets a little just, you know, a little thrown, you're not on it. You're not dealing with it. This person knows that this person is also learning from you. They see you as someone that is a wish fulfillment. They can see you in the spotlight. They can see you garnering a lot of respect from your peers or just, you know, ultimately just growing, you know, because as we saw earlier, like it's just like there's a sense that you have leveled up, you know, the person that they may have left you at, you know, th that may have left them behind. You're completely a different person. You've transformed. You've changed. I definitely see this person wanting to come back and wanting to build a partnership, a love ship, a connection, because they do feel like you're the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. This is somebody that does desire to work together, to collaborate, to build, to rebuild. This is someone that you may have walked away from because of their lack of effort in the past. And now they're desiring you, missing you, longing for you. And wanting to come towards you. With Hurricane, I feel like there's a lot that they're weathering right now. There could be a lot going on in their personal lives. But they are still thinking of you. You know, this person has a lot of love. And whoever's hating you and praying on your downfall, they're hating on you because any, you know, it, it, you could see clearly just how powerful this connection is with this 7-7. Seven, seven. The both of you are invested. The both of you are uh, very spiritually strong. You both bring things to the table. Your relationship change is here. We got 56. So this is 11. So this is someone that sees you. How they see you is they see you as someone that's their, div their divine, divine counterpart. This is someone that doesn't want you to be you know, on the market. This is someone coming in with an intention to truly, you know, change your relationship status. So if you are single right now, this person wants to change your relationship status to taken. They don't want you on the market. And I feel like this is going to be surprising news because we got hurricanes to range. So hurricane, you know, that's weather, that's air energy, you know, so the hurricane, there's usually like rain and thunder and so I feel like this person is going to surprise you with this communication. There's going to be something just unexpected that happens. And with this spirituality, 7-7, seven, seven, that 14 breaks down to 5. So this is something someone is coming to this realization about this relationship, this connection that they feel for you and how they desire to change this. Because they love you. There's green on the inside of this heart. And this is an all blue card, which is the throat chakra. And so this person does desire to communicate and express these feelings that they may have hidden because they was listening to what their mama said or what their children's mama said, doing what everybody else but them wanted. And these feelings cannot be ignored much longer. So let's see, how does this person as praying on Scorpio's downfall feel about our beloved Scorpios? See, we got we got this six love. This is someone who feels that you are the one that got away. This is someone that desires to return to you. And we have, um, I can't go to sleep. This is by Wu-Tang Clan. So this person is struggling resting at night because you're always in their mind. This connection is always like replaying in their mind. This 26 could be like the Eight of Swords also. So they up in their head heavy thinking about this connection. This is somebody that really like pines. This is analysis paralysis. And it's because they want to return. They want to get back to you. They want to figure out how to return to you. Because they do feel like they could sense it in the air that you're about to leave them behind. Because you have been focusing on your independence. You've discovered that that is your foundation for your security, your stability, and your overall happiness. So whatever they did to destroy you, it only made you stronger, you know, and it's because you realize like whatever isn't growing is dead. So you you may have walked away from from this connection out of a love for self. Like you realize like you can't sit around begging anybody for anything. If someone doesn't, you know, want to invest in the connection, the best thing you could do for you is to walk away from it. 
and to not partake, not to sit around and overcompensate. But there is someone who feels like you're that that love that got away and they desire to return to you. This is like the six of cups and, you know, the lovers. And this person does communicate with you telepathically and they also know that you're very uh, strong, like psychically strong, spiritually strong. And you have a very profound love of self with this individuality for what's hidden. I do feel somebody is, you know, in a codependent connection and they could be breaking away and finally learning to be self-sufficient and be on their own. They're starting to realize the, you know, the importance of independence. I feel like it required a lot of patience for this person to break free because this 11, even though it's a master number or ascended master number, it still can be broken down to two depending. I feel like that's why that two showed up earlier because it requires a lot of patience when you're breaking free from something karmic because there's a lot of work. This person is having difficulty dreaming or sleeping, resting at night because it says I can't sleep. So this person really ruminates, pines, they think, they analyze, they have regret and remorse for the way that they may have behaved. They didn't take action when they wanted to and it was out of fear, but it was also because they were still attached. There was still some residual energy or some sort of connection they had with someone else. What's hidden in the energy for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? And they have a message of love and light. Domestic harmony. So there is someone is wrapping up a cycle and we have individuality here. So they do break free. So this domestic harmony, the peace and the happiness has since expired. It is, it is, it is no longer present in a connection. And so someone is finding it very necessary to move on, to break free. It was very difficult. There's a lot of blue here. So I feel someone wasn't truly expressing themselves and they needed to learn to speak up for themselves, to say how they truly felt. And with this 11 here, individuality, we was just expounding on that energy and it came out for the outcome. So this person does eventually learn what it's like to be alone, same as you had to learn. And that's why I felt like this person is going through some sort of dark night of the soul journey as well, or doing some spiritual work, internal work, because they're starting to see what matters and what matters is their peace of mind, their happiness. So they're walking away from someone that is disturbing their peace and we have um gang star royalty so this person knows that you're like royalty you're regal you're very much a rare breed you're someone that you cannot find you know you're not someone that you're going to bump into twice in a lifetime you're very different from the rest you stand out from the rest and what this person knows how they feel about you is they love you and they know that they need to return to you to express this love to you. And they also know that you're intuitive. So you may already know who this is with this individuality. This person is going to separate themselves from someone they could be in a partnership with, and they're going to value and appreciate their individuality, their independence, because when they do come into a partnership, they're going to know how to be better for you because they knew how to love themselves first. This is all about self-love, self-care. When you're in a codependent relationship, you don't fully believe in or trust in your ability to sustain yourself. You're always looking for someone to come in and make it better, make it right. But what happens when there is no one else? You have to be able to lean on your own. You got to lean on your strengths. And that's what this person is realizing is that, you know, they, they are solid. They're more solid alone than they have been when they were in a connection. This is an all orange card. So they're realizing just how strong they were and how patient they needed to be with themselves. You know, maybe they was with someone that was impatient. Some of that was just very judgmental, confusing their energy. It was a lot of conflict. We got nine, nine compassion on the bottom of the deck. So this is about not judging. This is about forgiving and focusing on the love, focusing on the light that we all radiate when we're in a higher vibration so royalty this person sees now that you're royalty look at this what did i say about boundaries 
So this is what you all have been implementing and setting up. You've been making sure to establish boundaries. You've been cutting the people, places, and things out of your life that do not serve your highest good. 39, 39 on the clock, that's 6-6. Six, six. That's what your higher self said. That's what your Christ consciousness told you to do. That's what this spiritual strength is all about. Spirituality is speaking to you being very informed in the know. You're listening to and trusting the information, affirmation, downloads, and transmissions that you're receiving from spirit. And what spirit was telling you was to make, make it very clear that you are not with the nonsense. You know, when you know your worth and value, you don't settle for just anything. And so we have initiation and boundaries. So you have been initiated. And that's why the spirituality is here, because that's what spiritual strength is. 14 reduces to 5. That's the hierophant. So the hierophant is like that, that spiritualist, that master teacher. Some of you all have been, you know, reading your basic instructions before leaving Earth. That's just um, a very studious energy. Maybe you've been studying about spirituality, seeking higher wisdom, knowledge, understanding. That also speaks to you coming into a divine partnership, marriage, becoming committed with someone, marrying someone. With this initiation, I feel like you are being initiated, you know, to become that healer, shaman, light worker, divine spirit of love and light. Why is spirituality here? For who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? And we have Onyx. This is called Shifty. So you got somebody real shifty. So this is somebody when you're shifty, this is like somebody who's like, I, I always think of like shifty eyes. Like if somebody's talking to you, if they jittery and moving around, that, that's one of two things. They're lying, they're antsy because they, 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 you know, they're nervous because they're not telling the truth. So if you got anybody around you with those shifty body language, shifty eyes, you know what I'm saying? They double talking, talking, you know, just two faced. Be mindful because I feel like there's definitely like everybody's not going to be happy that you're coming into some sort of divine union. I feel like that's really what this is all about is you're breaking free from a karmic to come into a divine union because I feel like you have a spiritual partnership with someone and you two are here to discover what your soul's mission is and to share those gifts and talents with the collective. Um, I feel through you grounding yourself that you will release a lot of the pain, a lot of the heaviness, as well as any like residual energy, you know, any energy blocks could also be broken. Um, anything that could be anchoring you spiritually, emotionally. Um, so it's necessary to go outside, you know, grounding yourself is just going out in nature, maybe, you know, bringing a blanket and sitting out, you know, under a tree and just closing your eyes and meditating, releasing, maybe writing in your journal and then burning those papers during, you know, certain moon cycles. You could do that as well. Um, but there is a need to release, to ground, to purge, to clean, clear and cleanse your energy. Because I do feel like there's a lot pulling and tugging on your energy because you're so high vibrational and because you're radiating all of this love, this light, this positivity, there's a lot that is uh, drawn to you at this time. A lot of unwanted, un, um, you know, all, a lot of unwanted attention as well, you know, so be mindful of that. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? May I have a message of love, you have light spirit. Who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why? May I have a message of love and of light. All right, so let's cut the deck. So I see a card in the upright. This is winter. So there was absolutely a death. Winter was, is when everything dies, you know, when all of the animals go into hibernation. So there has been some sort of death. I'm going to put that back in there. And I want to do another shuffle. So there has been a death. Spirit, And I saw another card upright. Did I? Yes, I did. So winter and autumn, both of those, those are seasons. So I do feel like, um, you know, there's a saying that people are in your life for a reason or a season. And I immediately heard um, seasons change. 
people change. That's from Expose. So I feel like somebody, you know, there was somebody that changed, switched up on you. And with these leaves falling, I feel like, you know, they fell by the wayside, like you left them behind. You know, when I think of the leaves falling, I just feel like, you know, once the leaf hits the ground, some it's dead. You know, the tree is, is dying. So there was something that died. There was a relationship that died. There was a connection. There was connections, plural. Um, but I feel like you discovered that there were people that you thought were going to be in your life forever and only to discover that they were just there for a reason or for a season and not necessarily forever. But I feel there's an opportunity now for you to start attracting or um, gravitating towards your actual soul tribe, soul family and your divine counterparts. And with Shifty still playing, you, you know, I feel like you left the Shifty players behind. We got fulfillment here. What did I say about you coming into a beautiful union? And I feel you're coming into this union because you had to first heal thyself. And in you doing that work, that internal work, it led to you learning to love yourself. Love is an inside job. Happiness is an inside job. Fulfillment is all inside jobs. And because you felt this for yourself, you're now attracting and drawing someone that is a like mind. That's the yang to your yin. They're going to match your vibration, match your fly. So with this ace of cups, this is what the divine is saying. You're going to be rewarded. Not only is this speaking to emotional fulfillment, but I feel like there's blessings, opportunities. This is like luck, things working out in your favor. So you're going to have a stroke of luck. And I feel like you know. And I feel like whoever's coming in knows who you are, knows how special you are, knows what you deserve. On the bottom of the deck, we got shadow. So there is someone lurking, watching you, stalking you. This is somebody who is doing their shadow work as well. This is somebody who is stuck in, you know, that karmic relationship. But I feel like they watch you. They watch you online. You know, this is somebody who's very familiar with your journey. They've been very much up to date with your journey, with what you've been um, involved in, what you've been experiencing, what you've been doing. They're very up to date, even if you haven't spoken to this person. And this is because this is that person that feels you're the one that got away. You're the one that may have triggered them, activated them to start doing their shadow work. Because this is someone that is, you know, really like, um, you know, doing some sort of internal work. They also could be like looking around in their own cycle, uh, ciphers in their own circle of friends to discover like, okay, these people are not on my vibration either. You know, maybe they were in a partnership that they feel they need to walk away from because the love is missing. You have a love partnership and there's no love. Then you don't have a love partnership. You have a business arrangement where they're paying half the bills and you paying half the bills. But a love partnership, it, it encompasses so much more than just coexisting under the same roof and having your names on the same, you know, on the lease and the bills. This is about you cultivating a relationship and, and, you know, feeling like you have a life partner, feeling like you have someone that has your back, middle and front, feeling like someone understands you and knows you, you know, sometimes better than yourself when you are ready to, you know, jump over the ledge they know how to talk you out of it that's the type of love that you are um developing especially with this ace of chalice this is someone that speaks your love language because their love language is very similar to yours you're fulfilled by yourself that's why there's this ace of chalice because someone is coming in to give you their cup because you're already filling theirs and i feel like they know what they have to do and they're just doing you know that shadow work so that they can come towards you they got to walk away from someone that is you know a karmic or someone that they have some sort of attachments with we got spirit and it says initiation so the, the person that's preying on your downfall and why is because i feel like spirit is initiating or aligning you with someone you know spirit is choosing this person for you this is not your choice. This is like what you've prayed for is manifesting. You know, this person is breaking free. Those look like chains to me. 
something was binding them, keeping them contained, keeping them stuck. And so now, you know, they have to break free from those chains. And I feel the divine is initiating this person. So you're being aligned with your right person. This person is awakening to the love they feel for you, awakening to the love the two of you share. We have awakening on the bottom of the deck. And we have Nas rest of my life. So this person can't imagine being apart from you for the rest of their life. This is somebody that's awakening to the truth of how they feel. Somebody who realizes they got to take some sort of initiative. They got to make some sort of action. They got to strategize some sort of plan so that they could come in and express to you what they feel. This is somebody that definitely doesn't want to lose you. They can't even imagine the rest of their life without you in it. And they will communicate. This is going to be unexpected. I feel like this is going to surprise you. Why is love here for who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall? Why? And awakening flew right back out. Flew right back out on the floor. So somebody's waking up to the connection, the feelings, the emotions that they share for you. That they have for you. They were hiding it. This is because somebody could have been like stuck and bound. These always look like chains. And somebody's breaking free from those chains, breaking free from those karmic. Yeah, from 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 the, you know, the, 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 the karmic constraints. And there goes that autumn again. Seasons. So they were dealing with someone. It was all seasons. Seasons change. People change. And that's what this person is realizing. Like whoever they was with, they thought they was going to be with them forever. But this is a tower. And what's, what's becoming very apparent is that there's no peace in this home. There's no happiness. There's no contentment. And someone wants to change this situation. See that? They're, they're trying to restore the balance in their life. They're trying to find balance because something is out of balance. And the only thing that could bring or restore the balance is perhaps them walking away. Every ending denotes a new beginning. They know that it's necessary for them to heal themselves. This is someone who's also a healer, someone who's also been very influential in, you know, healing themselves from this past situation. You know, they've had to learn to love themselves again. They had to learn to, you know, recuperate after some sort of um, karmic situation it was just very I feel it was very one-sided and they had to learn to stand perpendicular in their square and also to express their truth I feel communication is one of this one of the many barriers you know for this person you're attracting they have difficulty communicating and expressing what they truly feel and so they suppress it and I feel like they realize they can't suppress it for the rest of their lives. So at some point, they're going to have to take initiative. They're going to have to, you know, go after this situation wholeheartedly, confidently, passionately. So why is domestic harmony here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? And why? There's a cleansing, see? They're having to do some deep cleaning, purging. This is about, you know, grounding themselves, releasing that X, taking spiritual baths. This is really an energy of them doing their due diligence to restore the balance, to heal. You are their foundation. But what did I say about your independence being a foundation for your stability and your security? And that's what this person is realizing. So they're rebuilding on a more solid foundation. And they're going to return to you because they feel like you are home. Home is where the heart is. You know, and I feel like for you, for them, you turn a home into a house, into a home. You make it feel like a home. You make them feel like they can be that divine counterpart. This is dual energy, but you, they feel like they want to return. They could also, like I said, be distance. So why is this individuality for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? So it seems like you may have some haters here because they know that you're coming into a spiritual union. And this isn't just any type of connection. This is like really a blessing. This is someone that is matching your fly and your vibration. This is someone I feel that your spirit team is assigning and aligning you with. 
This is not just some Joe Smo or Joe Blow. So look what flew right back out, and it's the only card in the upright in addition to this card. So cycles represent exactly that. So this person is going through some sort of karmic cycle lesson, and we saw karmic completion. So in divine timing, this is going to be over, done, done, fin, and they're going to come towards you because you feel more like home to them. I feel like what's hidden is that this person is more than likely dealing with um, some folks that could be trying to manipulate their energy. Maybe there's someone trying to keep them stuck and bound. You know, um, maybe someone could be trying to summon some sort of or pay some sort of spiritual practitioner. Um, but I do feel that what's hidden is that this person is going to finally come in and express how they feel. There is travel here. I do feel they will be coming towards you unexpectedly. And we have um, the message. So they will be sharing a message with you. And this is by Grandmaster Flash. Like I said, it's going to be unexpected. It's coming in quickly with Flash. And I feel like, you know, this person has been like under, like has been really like seeking some sort of wise counsel from an elder or from a master teacher, you know, maybe a pastor, maybe an elder in the family, you know, a matriarch in the family, a patriarch in the family. But this is definitely like they're seeking wise counsel and they're receiving it and they're returning home because you feel like home to them. This is a decision they're making and they're making it by themselves because before remember we had mama told me so they're not doing what mama told them to do they're doing what their own christ consciousness tells them to do and this is a masculine you got the masculine energy here so there is a masculine who's standing erect who's now going to be more assertive who's going after what they want who's being very passionate i feel like they've had some sort of wake-up call there's some sort of wake up call. They, they, they're they going to send you a message also. I feel like you have a message that could be coming in. And this person is going to be expressing exactly like what they feel towards you. Like they're going to be very honest. What did I say? Look what we have. Triumphant success with that sword. There's going to be a message. And this person is going to be so open and honest. This is going to be the first time that you've had someone like had this person has ever like expressed themselves to you in this way because like I said I was feeling like somebody wants to clear the air they want to express themselves they want to be honest they want to be transparent this is someone that's going to not just tell you what they've been enduring like what they've experienced but they're going to be open and honest about everything and this is going to lead to success here you know it's going to lead to success because I feel you're going to feel that they're being honest and this is going to bring a lot of healing to this situation. You know, communication, open communication, open dialogue can always repair and recover any type of, you know, connections where there was a mis, you know, um, some sort of miscommunication or a misunderstanding. But without communication, you can't. So it's almost as if like you had to forgive people for, you know, for the things um, you had to accept apologies you never received, in other words. And that's how you were able to continue to, to grow and heal because that's what you received via a download from your spirit team was like, look, in order for you to continue to heal and to continue to make progress, you have to forgive those that did not even apologize, that didn't even take accountability or ownership or even you know responsibility for what they've done. And that requires a lot of strength. And that's what you did. And that's why you were seen as someone who has grown personally. But with this triumphant success, you also cut yourself free from the yokes, ties, from any type of, uh, any type of uh, ancestral blockages or any type of curses. It's like you broke free, your ancestors. See that? Look at that. Victory and success. 
So you have a victory and success, and this past love person is watching. They're spying and they're watching and they're seeing just how satisfied you are. And they're also, you know, suffering in silence because this person has difficulty expressing themselves and communicating their true, true desires. I feel like this is a, this, they were conditioned, you know, very young to not express themselves. You know, maybe when they would cry, they would be told to be quiet, hush, shush. You know, maybe they had a pacifier stuffed in their mouth so they wouldn't cry. But it's like this person has difficulty being vulnerable or um, emoting. So they don't communicate. And that's why it's taken so long. That's why patience showed up because the divine is noticing just how patient you've been. Patience is a form of action. So you wasn't just sitting around and waiting for someone to return. You've been working on yourself and it's very clear. It's very evident. It's evident to anyone who has been paying attention. And it's very clear this person has been paying attention, even though you cut them off. So on the split, we have passion ignited. What did I say about somebody's emotions and feelings erupting within them? And it gets to the point where you can't even deny it anymore. You can't even hide it anymore. This person is like, is so attracted, so drawn to you. Their heart chakra is like on fire. They feel this love and they want to express it because they've been keeping it in. These are two ones. So it's like this person is very much aware. They're aware of who you are, what this connection truly is, which is, like I said, this is a divine connection. This is like a cosmic companion. And everyone that was left behind are going to feel like they're taking it personal. They're taking you moving on personally because you've left them behind and you're coming into a new connection. And we got iced tea. You played yourself. So the people that you put on ice, the people that you, you know, you, you left them in the past, they, they, they feel like you're being cold to them. But it's like your sentiment is that they played themselves when it came to you. And that's why they got the chop chop suey. You know, that's why they got the big chop. That's why you was not sitting around and arguing and going back and forth with anyone because you already know your worth and value. You don't have to do that. If people don't see it, you're not going to sit there arguing with them to see it. It's like, okay, you don't see my greatness, you will in my absence. And that's what's happening. You know, but they want to be a victim so bad. You know, and their victim mindset is something that, you know, they prefer to resort to opposed to taking real onus and accountability for why connections with you have been cut. So we got harmony here. So you are coming into a harmonized union. And this is that same person that sees love when they look at you, that thinks of love when they think of you. You know, that feels love when they're in your presence. And this is what they're awakening to is that you are the one. And they're also realizing like, damn, I played myself. I played myself because this love that I'm feeling, I, I refuse to, to emote. I refuse to express what I truly felt. I was holding back, hiding from it, suppressing it. And you knew because you, you're very intuitive. You could feel this chemistry, this synergy, when you're around that person, they could be taller than you, you know, and when you're around them, the two of you just lock eyes or this, you, you start feeling all flustered or they may start stuttering or you could be stuttering. So we got a couple of expounds. Balance was necessary. There was things that needed to be balanced out. And I feel like it was in regards to someone's independence. Someone needed to learn to stand perpendicular in their square, to be co-creators, to be conduits of change. They had to learn to own their power and take their power. They had to learn to be obedient. They had to learn to be, you know, intuitive and to trust their and use discernment. They had to look and seek the truth. They also had to be honest with themselves because the truth is what will set you free. When you're lying to yourself, you're only denying yourself happiness. And this is what leaves you bound in a situation because you're lying to yourself and telling yourself or telling those around you what they want to hear or doing what you think is going to appease and please others for the sake of not hurting someone. But you're hurting yourself. So someone sees the truth. The truth balances 
restores the balance. This, this person is standing on a scale. And the truth is what will set you free. So this is like 2-2. Two, two. This is 4. So 4 is about love. Someone realizes the truth about who they love. Stand your ground. Didn't I say this person needed to stand their ground? This is about standing up for what you believe in and not backing down. Saying what you feel. Talking from the chest. And not caring like who you hurt. You're not intentionally trying to hurt someone, but you really are doing it for the sake of loving yourself. Look where this person is at. Conflict, conflict, you know, and defeat, feeling defeated. This is turmoil up in your head, agonizing. Ghost face killer. This is called ghost genie. Superb. So this is somebody that definitely could have ghosted you because they may have had other options. They may have gotten you know, a little distracted and those options didn't amount to anything. They was just, dis they were only distractions. Whereas you, you embodied love. You embodied wise dome, beauty. This person is cleansing themselves of the past though. I see them making an effort to heal, making an effort to find that emotional equilibrium. And they're also growing more emotionally intelligent. You know, this could be a fellow water sign. So the overall energy is, see that? Look at this. This is the awakening. I can't make it up. This is the light. Just give me the lights. So this is 19. So someone sees clearly this is illumination and clarity. This is somebody who's no longer confused or conflicted because that Christ consciousness is activated. That's 7-7. Seven, seven. That represents not only your energy, Scorpio, because I feel you've grown personally, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So you're spiritually strong, spiritually aligned. And so that's going to automatically attract love, opportunities of fulfilling, you know, fulfilling your emotional and financial needs. But this is also bringing in you know, a brand new opportunity because of this optimism that you've maintained, you know, seeing the forest from the trees, opening up your eyes, not allowing yourselves to be disillusioned or confused or to be deceived by anything. This is you seeking your own knowledge and discovering the truth. Someone sees you as sunshine, joy. You bring happiness. You bring light into their lives. This is also you being blessed with a new opportunity, a brand new day. Infinite opportunity, supply, joy, peace, happiness. This is like better days ahead. This is financial blessings, wish fulfillment, stroke of luck. This is some sort of blessing from the divine, a miracle taking place with the sacral chakra. This is someone mustering up the strength. Everything that's in their power to break free, to break free. This is about self-love, self-care. Someone's finally realizing, okay, I got to walk away from a situation because that's what's going to best serve me. So who's praying on your downfall could be this person who's watching someone finally start mustering up the strength and the courage to break free from these chains. These appear to be like chains or some sort of rope that was binding them in a love partnership and this person is starting to trust what spirit is telling them this is moving to the beat of your own drum this is also as i said it's about exhibiting you know strength exhibiting courage and it's also about trusting your intuition as well and someone is highly intuitive same as you especially with that double sevens so why is this 26 love partnership and initiation here for the person Scorpio is attracting and why? We got destiny. This is a destiny type of thing. And there is something coming full circle. So whoever this person is, I feel like there is unfinished business with you and this person here. I definitely feel like something's coming full circle. Someone had to wrap up a cycle with a karmic, but I feel like they are returning to you. Something's going to be moving. Something's going to be turning around. I feel in this situation, there's a turning point of some sort. Because this is destiny. This is like 
a faded event that's taking place. This person is a part of, and I was picking up with that autumn card, people come into your life for a reason or a season. I feel like this person is destined to be in your life, whoever this is. And they're going through some sort of karmic lesson. They're learning something. And whatever lessons they're learning, they're at the end. They're right there at the end of that cycle. And that one is going to become that ace, that, that new beginning, that ace of wands. Someone's passion is, is intensifying. They're starting to feel this feeling. And I do feel like this is that, that masculine energy. If it's not masculine, this is a feminine in masculine energy, very assertive, powerful, going after what they want. And that masculine energy is the emperor. Someone could also be watching tarot cards or going and getting readings on you because I see underneath this card here. They could be manifesting you back as well because we got the tarot cards. So they're seeking some sort of guidance, trying to figure out how to come towards you. Maybe they're watching your channel. If you have another like YouTube channel and you do tarot readings or scrying. Whatever it is you're doing, this I feel like this person's plugging in and they're watching so that they could learn. They could learn from you. And we got Helter Skelter and this is called La Fleur La Fleur. The name of the album is Nocturnal. So this person sits up late at night watching you and we got shadow here. And remember, we had shadow showing up when we was talking about this person. So this person is definitely doing a lot of uh, shadow work. This is someone that was hiding things, keeping secrets. This is someone that does feel a lot of emotion, but they have not expressed it. This is also someone that finds you to be very mysterious. I do feel they also see you as someone who has taken a break. You've been like in that that hermit mode, unplugged, disconnected. I feel you gave this individual like many chances and you just completely, you know, completely disengaged. And so you kind of called their bluff almost. See that? Yep. What did I say? You called their bluff because they was expecting you to keep chasing, you know, but you, you kind of released, you let go. With that nine, that's like you creating boundaries. You're not open. You know, that's the highest number of change. With this ace, you know, this passion ignited. I feel like this person's feelings only intensified and grew in your absence this person deeply desires a partnership they deeply desire to work together they want to reunite they want to reconnect we see how they feel about you is the six of cups the love this is something they're awakening to they're awakening from it because they were hiding and running from it for a while we saw cycles here so this is the moon yet again so this is what's been hiding this is the secret they've been keeping is a they're still in another relationship they could be married they could be you know in that um common law marriage where they've been living with someone for so long that it's like they're married uh maybe they've been you know a parent to someone else's child or children maybe a step parent to someone's child or children and you know they feel this level of obligation but they're deep down they're unhappy and they're looking for an out and I feel like they're starting now to muster up the courage, the strength to release themselves and to release this karmic from this this connection because they're unhappy. So with this shadow, they're, they're realizing, you know, um, by watching you do your shadow work that dark night of the soul, it, it has awakened them. Um, and that nine, like I said, is the hermit. So you've been, you know, kind of like in a protective bubble. You've created a sacred space and they realize and understand why now. So the six love and awakening is here. We got a couple of cards. So we got firm foundation. So this is you rebuilding, establishing a solid foundation. And remember, that's what came out foundation. So again, matching the energy and vibration of this person. They see you as someone they could build with. They see you as strong, independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, very grounded, balanced in alignment. You're like a nurturer, a lover, maternal, paternal, very attractive, powerful. And this is also someone that sees that you love yourself. They also see that you have grown to love yourself, which is why you may have turned your back. And this is what has made this person even more attracted to you. Base chakra. This person is healing from 
childhood traumas. I was mentioning someone who was not really communicative or they didn't really know how to emote and that could have been conditioning from when they were children. You know, they were never really um, given the opportunity to express themselves or they were never, you know, maybe this is someone who grew up as a single child. Maybe they don't have siblings, you know, and that's why they came off very cocky, very egotistical, very stubborn, because maybe they are, you know, just a, they don't have any siblings. They could be an only child. With this domestic harmony, I feel like, you know, someone could have called them out on their behavior their immaturity, or this could have been just, you know, a lot of back and forth disagreements, arguments. And someone's really like, really realizing like, okay, it's time for me to purge, clean, clear, cleanse, to perform a spiritual bath, to ground myself, to release. This is like performing a release ceremony, cleansing themselves of, you know, just that old, stuck, stagnant energy and giving them themselves a little bit of rejuvenation, if you will, spiritually, emotionally. This is someone also very accepting of their vulnerabilities now, you know, not shying away from their vulnerabilities, but accepting it because they realize that's, you know, their superpower. And so now they're standing erect, being more bold, focused on their security, their stability, their independence. Because that's what individuality is all about, independence. The base chakra deals with your finance, your family. It's your security, how you show up in the world. And I feel like this is, you know, almost like saying the death of the old, but the rebirth, you know, the emergence of someone new. So this deep cleansing is, you know, kind of like giving that, that like I said, that rejuvenation to someone's spirit, mind, body, soul. And they're going to move forward with more power. See that patience. Good things take time to create, including learning how to be independent, learning to stand up for what you believe in, learning to express yourself. This 14 reduces to five. That's the throat chakra. Learning how to grow and plant on your own. That's what she's learning. See that? That's exactly what she's learning. And this is truly like the day you plant the seed isn't the day you're going to eat the fruit. And she's planting the seed. But you see how spirit is assisting with with, you know, this fruit starting to blossom into a flower. So it's like you're co-creating. It requires patience. Remember, we saw patience earlier, which was the number two. So intuitively, you know that this is almost like you have to be a co-creator. You have to trust the process of the divine someone is planting new seeds because they want to invest in you so they're planting new seeds with you because they want to grow and build with you so they're willing to be patient they're willing to communicate they're willing to express how they truly feel and the vine is telling you to be patient because this person's coming in because they want to establish a new and solid foundation for you we have material harvest here cycles so you've manifested whatever you've been working hard on is manifesting and you're going to have material harvest. So you're going to have wish fulfillment. That's what I was picking up with that ace of chalices and with this destiny here. I feel you are very fulfilled, mind, body and soul emotionally. You focus on me, myself and I. And because you've done your work, I feel the divine is going to shower you with a lot of blessings, a lot of wish fulfillment a lot of success and it says patience and planning and this is like the seven of pentacles so the divine has acknowledged all of the seeds that you have planted in good faith now they're blossoming so your hard work is absolutely going to pay off especially with that seven right here and then you see the nine so it's like things happen you know in in you know um in cycles it's like you know maybe you had to get rid of the old so that you can enjoy this blessing this abundance all on your own oh man look at that we got the ace of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck confirming so this is really like the divine is not only blessing you with this abundance of love but abundance of financial blessings like you could have some sort of 
you could win a scratch off, a sweepstake, you could win, um, you know, you could be getting an approval on a loan, a business loan, a car loan, a home loan. Um, this is a job offer, a promotion, a pay increase, a bonus. This is, like I said, a wish fulfillment, a stroke of luck. Um, this is fortune, fame. This is recognition, rewards. So you have something coming in and there's a lot of people that's watching that's going to be like tripping over themselves from your success. A lot of confusion, a lot of double talking, a lot of people who are in secret competitions that you have moved away from. There also is someone who's looking to come toward you with an offer, a solid offer. Someone that wants to offer you something tangible and real. Um, this is a very intentional person. You also have these little snakes and fakes and schemes and scammers. So be mindful of that because they're going wherever the light, the wherever the wind blows them. And because they see that you're blissed and highly favored, the divine is saying that you may have some, some opportunists that could be coming in. People who are, uh, you know, definitely uh, trying to strategize some plan to set you up. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So not only are you emotionally fulfilled and with that life partner, with that person that's going to, you know, make you that happy house, happy spouse, give you that happily ever after, plant seeds and roots with you. But this is someone that you're going to grow old with. This is someone that you're going to have children with. This is someone you're going to vacation with, live with, grow with. This is someone that's going to be like your homie lover and friend, you know, someone you feel very stable with. With this four of swords, I feel you're being rewarded for healing yourself. I feel also the manner in which you healed yourself where you did not turn into some bitter, scorned person. You just really focused on healing yourself, like I said, um, and not so much on blaming people or looking to project your pain and hurt. Um, you really just did it your own way. You know, you, you moved to the beat of your own drum and you could have started to focus on like your gifts and talents, um, artistic or, you know, creative talents. And it led to you truly um, being in a space where you, you feel free. And so you have this king of wands here. You could be dealing with a king of wands. Uh, someone who could have been like flighty, had a wandering eye. Somebody who liked to have options. Yeah, I feel like there was this sense of this person like kind of feeling like they missed an opportunity with you. Feeling a little bit of regret and remorse because you've since blocked them. I also feel like you have somebody that has been taking their time. Um, this is someone that takes their time because they want to get it right. So they don't rush in like the Knight of Wands, Cups, or Swords. The, it, the Knight of Pentacles is like more of a smooth operator. Like they're more intentional. I feel they're more mature because they're thinking of longevity. They're thinking of long term. You know, they're not looking to just come in, hit it, and quit it, and bounce. So this is somebody that definitely wants to work together, collaborate, build a partnership, an alliance with you, um, be a great partner. See, this person here had other options. This King of Wands, very attractive person, but they're also, you know, they know they're attractive and they just bring confusion into the situation. I feel they also had a lot of dun -dun -dun they could have potentially been listening to. And I feel like you, on the other hand, you trusted your intuition. You trusted what your higher self was telling you about this person. Because this is someone that kind of wants you to surrender to them, back down to them, bow down to them. Because they like things to go their way. But they don't necessarily uh, try to make those same sacrifices that it, they expect others to make. So I feel like you wasn't having it with that too. Uh, that high priestess, I was talking about the high priestess earlier, and she showed up. But this king of wands, it was like you saw right through this person. This is somebody very superficial, you know, so they could be all passionate and hot and fiery. But then they kind of lose interest quickly because they they like that's why they keep so many that they juggle so many. So I feel like you just you realize like you just didn't have much in common with that type of energy. You want someone more committed, someone more down to earth, someone who's not, you know, very um, egotistical. And we did see, you know, earlier there was some sort of ego death. Someone had to uh, humble themselves or the divine had to humble someone. So we have this king of wands here. So you have someone very fiery, very passionate. That wants to come in. This is someone who's also, like I said, very attractive. This is like a leader, a boss. But this is also someone who kind of like, they can have a wandering eye. 
and maybe this person is now starting to see you in your light, they definitely feel regret and remorse. You're going to have some options here. I'm definitely feeling like you're going to have some options. And we have um, Buddy. So maybe this person, this was somebody like when I hear Buddy, I feel like this is definitely somebody who had like other, um, you know, like other love options. Maybe this is somebody who has um, the whole, you know, friends with benefits, you know, because they just want to be your buddy. They, they're not trying to be a lover. They're not trying to be committed. They just want to be your buddy, but they don't want to just be your buddy. They want to be butt buddies. Thank you, spirit. This is somebody that wants to be butt buddies. Let me get one more card for this 77. And I feel like you knew that, which is why you left. I feel like that's why you also had to heal from this energy. Why is 77 spirituality, ace of chalices, the light? I feel like you saw someone for who they truly were. Yep, the devil. This was the devil. See that? This person was playing a lot of games, emotional games. They was playing mind games. This is somebody who thought it was like the sun rises and, you know, was, was the sun rises and sets on them. This is somebody that's very um, self-absorbed. And look how they had you up in your head. And that's why you had to heal yourself. That's why spirituality was here, because you had to, you know, and remember, we had give them hell. So this person was giving you hell. That was playing by prodigy earlier. Rising power prodigy. And so this person was giving you hell. Look at that up in your head and it's because this person would come in real hot and heavy and passionate and fiery and have you thinking that they you know that they love you that they want the same things but it was all trickery it was all just to emotionally and psychologically manipulate you just so that they could get what they want and then as soon as they got it they disappeared like a thief in the night but they did this because this was a game this was how they maintained the control that's why the divine was telling you to get a grip that's why the divine was telling you, you got to trust your own intuition. That seven is the crown chakra. So when you are in that seven crown chakra energy, that means that you done seen it all. That means that you're highly in tune. You also had to heal from all of the pain this person was causing you. That ace of chalice also deals with the intuition. So your intuition was telling you, you got to look at this person a little deeper. And this also the light, you saw something clear. You saw through their lies. You saw through their deception. You saw through the illusion. The mind is the devil's playground, and that's what he was doing, playing a lot of mind games. This king of wands is not committed. You know, this is somebody that is a commitment fold. They like to run free. This was somebody that was in your life for a season, or maybe even just a reason to teach you self-love, self-worth, to, to not submit your will or submit your, you know, to submit your will to them, you know, because they will take it. This person doesn't, you know, and you see how there's a ram on this devil, devil's arm. So some of you always dealing with this Aries, a Leo, somebody with fire in their chart, because there's a devil right there. I mean, a ram on this um, devil's arm and the uh, king of wands is the Aries, is a Leo, is, you know, this could be an Aries, Leo or Sag. This could also be a Capricorn. This is somebody I feel that's like really like obsessed with you as well. You know, they're obsessed to the point where th even though they know they have nothing to offer you, it's like they don't want you to be happy because they know that you are without a shadow of a doubt going to find just that because you're vibrating love and light. You know, you just radiate love and light. So they're trying to distract you. They're trying to have you up in your head. This person could be just like, you know, breadcrumbing you, giving you little bits and pieces of maybe just even attention, trying to distract you. But the divine is saying like, you know, stay focused on the light, you know, on the love and light because somebody is just really playing a lot of games because that's all they do. That's what they resort to. That's how they're able to maintain control and with give them hell. I do feel like, you know, that's probably why that song was playing earlier. Um, say hello to the bad guy, because this person is trying to make you feel, you know, somehow that you're the bad guy. Or maybe the divine is saying, say hello to the bad guy because they're, they're back. You know, and Mercury retrograde brings a lot of people back. Look what's here. Ace of Swords. We got the Ace of Swords. And remember, we saw triumphant success with the Psychic Tarot deck when we first touched those cards. And that was a sword. So this person is now, you know, that you're attracting to you, that you have this very destiny type of love connection with, that this, everything is 
finally coming full circle once they free themselves from these binds, these restrictions in some sort of love partnership that they are breaking free from with this 26, which is giving me the eight of cups type of energy. They're walking away because they feel emotionally bankrupt. They're having that epiphany from you. Both of you are in that very cerebral space, very cerebral. And so it's 444 on the clock. I just want to show you. So your angels and ancestors are telling you to pay attention. You know, 444, can you see that? So your angels and ancestors are telling you to trust what you are feeling intuitively or what you feel energetically. I feel your person is also listening to their intuition and trusting what their guides are telling them. Because as we see here, spirit is initiating them, initiating them to take some sort of destined step forward. It's almost as if this person had some sort of stick in their wheel, you know, and now the wheel is turning around in their favor and they're going to be blessed with a new opportunity because this 10 represents the ending and they know exactly what they need to do because now they're clear. They have this, this sense of um, epiphany, aha, this clarity here. So why is 26 love partnership, spirit initiation and destiny here for who's um, the person Scorpio is attracting and who's preying on their downfall and why? See that? The Hierophant. I can't make this up. That's the same person that's seeking wise counsel. That's the same person that has been sitting at the feet of the elders with that 7-7. Seven, seven. This is that same person that has been speaking to their spirit team, their ancestors. See how it says spirit and initiation? And you can see this big smile. So it's like he's elated. He's finally seeing the truths, finally seeing the light. And those stairs represent ascension, growth, elevation. So someone is finally realizing, I got to love me, myself, and I. I got to take care of me. And we just had Queen Latifah playing dance for me. And so this person knows that you are their queen. This person also knows that they are a king, that they deserve, you know, this. it, it is their birthright to have what they desire, that they are of royalty. Because remember, we saw that royalty card. So it's like they know their worth now. This is someone who's finally seeing the light. This is someone who's finally having that aha moment, finally realizing, like, I have to express this. I have to express what I feel. We got Tupac playing changes. So this person knows that they have to initiate. They have to initiate the change. If they wish to see the change, they have to be the change. And the only way they can initiate the change is by communicating. This five is the hierophant, so they're going to communicate. They're going to express themselves. And look who's sitting here watching this emperor, the divine masculine. So they evolve, transform because they know they have to, they have to match your fly, your vibration because they're looking at you like your love. They see the changes you've made within yourself. And so now they want to come to you just as change. They've had this awakening. They see you as the twin flame soulmate. That four represents that twin flame energy, vibration, yin-yang energy, vibration. This king or this emperor is ready to come and find their empress. They're ready to come after you passionately, powerfully, fearlessly. So why is six love awakening and the four firm foundation? What did I say about you being their wish fulfillment? They've been praying for you. They've been truly praying and wishing and hoping on a star. They also see you as a star, see you in the spotlight. I feel this person watches you. They watch you from a distance. And they've acknowledged the changes that you have made. And this is what makes you super attractive. This is why they wish to return back to you. I also feel like you moved away from this person. That's why I was picking up like distance. I was picking up there was distance, physical or emotional. And all they want is to rebuild. They want to restore this connection. The five of swords is them up in their head with how to do so. Because they're still stuck in a connection that has them feeling restricted. And they have this little birdie on their shoulder telling them what they need to do so that they can be liberated. So that they can free their dome, free themselves. Because they feel very conflicted. This five of swords is a lot of bunch of, it's just a bunch of chatter listening to other people. This is a lack of peace, arguments, 
fighting over money, fighting over just peace, just confusion, misunderstandings, and they need to cleanse themselves. They need a spiritual bath, you know, mostly. But I also feel like they're struggling because they could be potentially healing like their inner child, healing from childhood traumas and issues. I feel like there's conditioning here, like they've been conditioned to think a certain way and they're realizing that this way of thinking has them trapped. This is the same clutching of the head that this person is doing here and that's what they need to do. And these are similar colors on the cards. So they're realizing that they need to free their dome because whoever this devil is, whatever that devil represents, whatever that ideology or belief system that they are holding, it's like they, they it's entrapping them and they got to free themselves. They got to clear this energy. They got to clear their minds, free their minds, free their souls. And with changes, those are the changes this person has to make in order for there to be change in this connection. Someone is really doing a lot of work, same work you've been doing and putting in. And you've been busy, baby. You've been really like busy creating. You've been working on your career. Maybe you're promoting, like working on, um, you know, some sort of promotion. You know, maybe you're a student, you know, under studentship. You could be, you know, studying for exams. You could be studying, um, you know, spirituality, you know, any areas of interest. I just feel like there's a lot of, of focus and attention put into the things that you are um doing right now but you are on some do not disturb my groove you're very busy and you're manifesting and that same nine of pentacles is how you got there that could be like the nine of pentacles or even the nine of cups wish fulfillment blessings being rewarded and it's because of your hard work and effort and it's also because of your patience and it's also because you focused on establishing your foundation. It's also because you learned that your independence was the foundation for your stability. And you was also very patient in the process. You didn't rush the process. And I feel someone is learning from you as well. See that? I feel like you didn't forget where you came from. Say hello to the bad guy. Yeah, I'm a bad guy. I come from the bottom. Now I'm mad fly. This is you. You was at the bottom. But now look at you where you are very self-sufficient, you're successful, you're, you know, your business is expanding, it's growing, your finances have improved, like you're managing your money better now. But it's like you couldn't be here if it wasn't for this. It's almost like you're looking back in awareness, reflecting on how you got here, you know, and there's somebody that's like rushing in. See that energy of somebody rushing. They're rushing in towards you. That's that same chariot that I said that was here, the seven, seven. This is someone now that has learned to assert themselves, to be more courageous, to be more, you know, even spontaneous, you know, just go after what they want. Take that leap of faith, be more daring and risky. This is somebody rushing in. This is the yang to your yin. You know, this is somebody that's coming in because they like what they see, they want it because they feel like they missed an opportunity and they was busy juggling and so we have Diary of a Bad Man with Grave Digger. So this is definitely someone that you may have cut off, you know, the connection, you know, met its demise. But now this person has had some sort of epiphany. They want to return home to you, especially with um, with um, with that chariot. So there is distance. They will be traveling to see you. So why is individuality, foundation and patience here? See that death? I can't make this ish up. So this is the person that has been going through a major transformation. This is somebody who has emerged someone completely different. This is someone who had to learn to cut off people, places and things that didn't serve them. This death, they're holding a dagger. You can see the dagger right above his head. So he's been chopping out people, places and things because he received the download from spirit. Like, look, you need to do a cleansing, a purge. And it was difficult to do that, but they 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 transformed. This is the rebirth. This is the transformation. And they transformed into this individual, this independent person. And that's what led them to, you know, returning to themselves. You know, homeland could be like them returning back to themselves. You know, a relationship, you can lose yourself. And I feel like they're returning back to themselves and they've been very patient. 
Patience is a form of action, as I said. So they've been really planting new seeds. They've been learning better ways to communicate, express themselves. They've been cutting people, places, and things out that have been really affecting their balance, their stability. They can see the forest from the trees. See that? Sh strength. I can't make this up. They've, they, they're now owning their strength. They're now in their strength. And so whatever they was hiding, whatever it is that they was running from, whatever it is that they was trying to keep from you, I definitely feel like they're now going to honor how they truly feel, honor this, the rhythms in their own body, the circle, the cycles and rhythms in their own body. And what it's telling them is now is the time. Divine timing is of the essence. Scorpio is absolutely your wish fulfillment. These blessings are coming in because of the work that you've done. Not only have you healed yourself, remember we saw a healer. So I feel like you have taught someone else how to heal themselves because every great healer has to first heal themselves. Look what you got on the outcome. I can't make this up. This is karmic justice. Everything is working out in you and your divine counterparts favor because this is a divine union. That's why you're going to feel like everything is just, you know, you have blessings upon blessings. You got the Ten of Cups. So you, not only do you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Ten of Cups, you have your person has the Wheel of Fortune, you got the Nine of Cups here. So this is you already, you know, very much, you know, fulfilling yourself because love is an inside job, but there's someone coming in to give you that Ace of Cups, which gives you the Ten. So that's that happily have ever after, that happy house, happy spouse. This is that person that's going to be your support system, your friend, your best friend. This is the person that will, will definitely be uh, emotionally... Um, intelligent and attentive and affectionate and I feel like this is you know this is karma dharma this is you reaping what you sowed your hard work paying off and I feel you knew you know you already knew we had Jay-Z earlier saying I know so it's like you know the steps you know this process and you had to make these decisions there's a choice somebody that is uh having to come towards you has to make a choice so they're choosing between their future and their past, their past and their future, because they already know or feel like they've missed an opportunity when they was out there juggling and trying to be a gigolo. Even though they was in pain and they was they caused their own pain and they also caused you pain, which is why, excuse me, why you're coming off guarded, blocked off. Do not disturb my groove. You're keeping and maintaining a sacred space. You're not speaking to anyone because someone was breadcrumbing you along, giving you bits and pieces of themselves. That led to a tower moment. That led to you having to lick your wounds, heal, persevere through the pain, show resi resilience, and then you finally mustered up the strength, courage, and wisdom to end that cycle. And now you're happier because now you've learned what... what happiness truly is what love truly is and you have someone that's watching now this is the same person that was distracted in the past by the distractions but now they're playing chess so be mindful that somebody doesn't come back and try to dupe you into thinking they've changed when in fact all they're doing is wearing a mask to give off this illusion like they've changed but they're just trying to get you back just so that they can you know, just so they can win. This could be some sort of sick game. Use your intuition. I just feel like your intuition is um, is um, very important right now. So let's get a couple messages from Kiefer. See that? I see, look at this. I see message of concern. Someone's definitely getting a message of concern from someone. And I feel like that's, you know, whoever's coming toward you is sending a message of concern to whoever they're with. They're karmic. We got sudden wealth here. So you got blessings upon blessings. You got wish fulfillment, luck, stroke of luck. With this star here, I feel like there's some sort of answered prayer. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Divine Spirit. We put these cards back. Who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why? And have a message of love and of light. <coughs> Excuse me. I see marriage. So you absolutely will be coming into 
this destiny type of love and it leads to marriage as i said because now that you know your worth and value you're not settling for anything less than what you deserve you have already gone through a transformation i feel whoever you're attracting is now going through theirs i see this justice which means that you have sowed in good faith so now you are reaping the benefits of your good deeds and there's going to be some sort of reward this recognition breakthrough success a victory so let's see what we got coming and going out going on for my beloved scorpios and who's praying on their downfall and why let me get one more i said one more one more one more bottom of the deck okay so we have family room and we got wealthy man so somebody is definitely um closing out a cycle with someone they could have been living with because this 21 is the world card in traditional tarot so someone that they reside with someone that they're living with they're they're leaving it's like i hear you know um someone saying i'm leaving and it's because they realize whatever they was dealing with it was all an illusion someone could have been dealing with someone that was like you know very flighty non-committal in and out they was for everybody Someone's intuition told them it's time to move on to bigger and better. We got wealthy man here. And this is someone that is really, you know, with this um, fortune, the destiny card, which is the wheel of fortune. I feel like this person could be like really self-sufficient. Like they got the Midas touch, very resourceful, very practical, hardworking um, gentleman. This is the alpha male. This is that divine masculine, someone that works hard. Maybe they lost themselves in their work. Maybe that's why this karmic refuses to let them go because maybe they are a great provider. Um, but I feel this person realizes now what they want. And now is the time, you know, uh, with this message of concern, I do feel like this, this wealthy man is going to have to, um, they're going to have to tell someone that they wish to leave. Uh, and this is someone that they reside with. Uh, and they're leaving because they under the guise of, you know, trying to reunite and reconnect with you, Scorpio. I feel like this person definitely wishes to return to you. Why is six love and awakening here for who is praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? So we see here somebody's having, you know, feeling heartbroken. And this is also they're heartbroken because you're coming into a new union. So this person felt very heartbroken. Uh, over the fact that they did not like really court you the way you deserved. This could be the same divine masculine here, you know, because now they're reflecting and they're being forced to reflect, which is why they want to return. But this person is feeling and, you know, finally coming into this awareness, this awakening, like, damn, you know, Scorpio provided, you know, so much happiness and joy. Um, but they also made me feel loved. You know, they made me feel um new satisfied so this person daydreams a lot i feel you know daydreams and visualizes the two of you kind of together uh, maybe the two of you when you first met um maybe they took you to a bench or to a park and y'all sat on a bench and just kind of chopped it up or maybe when you first met this person um you were seated on a bench or there was something significant about a bench or some sort of outside setting this person dreams about that a lot. They think about it. They're literally suffering from n insomnia, um, dreaming about this. And I feel like it's because they're heartbroken. Um, this person has been maturing and that's why they're, you know, under this, this space of like, you know, really healing themselves. Cause you know, in order for you to mature, in order for you to grow, um, you have to accept your wrongdoings. You have to be willing to take accountability, to take onus. I feel they definitely uh, could have sought some sort of wise counsel from an elder because that is the five, which is like the hierophant. And remember the seven, seven reduces to 14, which is five. And remember, they also had um, the hierophant, if I'm not mistaken, I saw a five somewhere else. But I think when I was doing the cards, it showed up. But this person is definitely communicating with like elders or matriarch or patriarch in the family just getting some some really um honest and open uh advice you know and maybe for a while they was up in their head confused and conflicted because they was listening to the wrong people uh and it was because they refused to really 
uh, express themselves honestly or just show any type of emotion or be vulnerable. Um, and as I said before, I felt like this was like a part of their conditioning uh, when it was growing up or being raised. This, these are things that they, you know, learned at a very young age. Now they're working hard and diligently to change that, um, realizing they, not, they need to get rid of some of these faulty belief systems that have them trapped um, so that they can feel more liberated and free their dome from the nonsense. So they could be speaking to elders. So why is this 46 um, domestic harmony, the water cleansing, the base chakra, and the five of swords here for what's hitting? So, yep, community. So they are seeking, you know, they're getting the support. I also feel like they're receiving support from you, whether you realize it or not, uh, because they, you know, you are that, that divine feminine with this 39, that's 12. So they're watching you. They're, it's almost like I said before, like, you know, every great healer has to first heal themselves. But I feel like you're also teaching them because they're watching you. They're keeping tabs. They're studying. And so in watching you transform, change, and ascend and evolve into your greatest version of yourself, they're also doing the same work. This is leading to a new path for the two of you. I feel like this is leading them on the path to return back to you. Um, but their community, their angels and ancestors are assisting as well. So they have a lot of support system. They have a lot. Something has died. The ego has died. You know, there was a death also. We got the death twice. So you got death, rebirth, and then you got this coffin. And that was just like up in the upright. So I feel like that definitely wanted to be expounded. But something died in this connection. Maybe they're getting some sort of support from their ancestors. You know, with that 3-4, this is 19. I definitely feel like there was something within this person's mindset that died. It's a death, ego death. I just keep hearing ego death. And so we have thief. See, they was dealing with somebody that was just with them for, you know, stability, security, finances. And also just for, like, you know, social standing. You know, they was dealing with a feminine energy that had somebody else on the side. And <coughs> maybe this was even their child, you know. Maybe this masculine could have been with someone that was with, you know, a woman who already had a child. And maybe there's a woman who was with a masculine who already had children. Whatever the case may be, maybe they were using the children under the guise, you know, um, using the children, um, you know, under a guise to steal. So they would say, oh, I got to get my son or my daughter X, Y and Z. But it was really for them. Oh, I need to get my son some new sneakers or some new outfits for school. And then come to find out they never got it. It was for them. So there was like stealing and someone finally saw the truth, you know, and that's what the individuality was about, because this was a very codependent connection. Someone was stealing from them the entire time. And this person was really needing to return to themselves because they got lost in this connection. They got lost in it. It was a lot of attachments that needed to be cut free. That's why that dagger is there, because it's about cutting yourself free. It's also about transforming and changing. Yep, this person is leaving. They're walking away from this connection. This person may be traveling to see you, because remember, with homeland and foundation, I just feel like they're returning back to what feels like home. So maybe, you know, they, they're returning back to you because you feel more like home. Can I get one more message for the moon? The nine of material harvest and the justice and the ten of cups yep pathway so this that you you've been going y'all have both been going through this dark night of the soul journey only to return back to each other that's why destiny showed up this is a destiny type of love and i feel this connection is it, it, everything is coming full circle so this person is returning this is all karmic justice this is the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. And we have common sense. This is called go. So this person knows when the right time to come. They're, they're being told to go after what they want because you're their wish fulfillment with this 35. This is them realizing that they need to be the ones that change the situation because they're the ones that potentially broke it. They broke the trust. They broke the communication. And they even, you know, shook the foundation with lies, with deception. Even if they didn't blatantly lie, just withholding the truth could also be seen as a lie. 
because I feel this person was still like attached, you know, energetically to an ex or to someone else. And maybe they were not transparent about that. But there is a um, there is someone traveling to see you. There is distance. This person is willing to make this journey, to take this journey, to come toward you. Let me get one more card for this Ten of Cups. Why is this Ten of Cups here for my beloved Scorpios? And the outcome for who's praying on Scorpios downfall and why? I feel this person definitely feels drawn to you. Like it's almost like they're following their heart. They're following their passion. The journey came right back out. This person's coming after you. They're coming toward you. They're coming after you once they complete that cycle. Because I see all tens for them. When it comes to them taking action, I feel like they're showing up as 10, you know, because we got 10 destiny. We got 10, the light. We got the 10 with the journey here. We got 10 with the coffin. So something's dying, you know, there's a death that this person is, um, is experiencing, you know, whether a death of their own, um, ego, death of a relationship. But they're coming after you because you're the divine feminine. This is the privileged lady. This is the number 12, 3. That's why they're leaving this behind. Because this is their motivation. They was dealing with somebody that they had addictions. Or they could have been addicted to this person. They could have been incubus, succubus. Somebody who could have used sex to seduce, to entice, to control, to manipulate. This is someone very passionate, very controlling also. Me, 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 I, 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 my way, highway type of energy. Someone they lived with, resided with, someone that they was really, you know, this could have been a maternal energy as well with that family home. Maybe they reside with an overbearing parent. You know, during this whole pandemic, a lot of people returned back to their family homes to save money because people were losing jobs. And, you know, so uh, this person may have had to resort to moving back in with a parent. And maybe that parent is just very involved, invested in just overbearing. Your person definitely was able to save some coins. We got the 12 and 13. This showed up in a former reading. So this is why they have their eye on you because you match their fly. You are someone that is on the same level as them, Scorpio. And the people that are hating and praying on your downfall are the ones that definitely led to you doing your work, healing yourself and loving yourself. And now you're the one that's kind of shining and glowing and they don't understand it. They can't understand how you managed to do it because they could still be struggling. The person you're attracting is going through the same steps, the same lessons that you have gone through. And I feel like they're literally watching your work. This person could be watching you if you have any type of um, online presence they're watching your social media and I feel like those are the things that encourage, inspire and trigger them to keep going, to keep on this path because they know that they'll bump back into you. They're going to eventually muster up the strength and courage to come and see you as I feel like you're not going to backwards. You're, you're moving forward. I feel you would be receptive or open to anyone from your past as long as they show that they are mature. <clears throat> that they've been working on themselves, excuse me. But somebody definitely has difficulty communicating. It is very obvious. And we have Biggie Smalls or Notorious B.I.G. I got a story to tell. So this person is going to be very honest, very open, very transparent. That's why we saw um, Victorious Success or something like that um, with the... Um, with the psychic tarot deck. So it's like somebody's coming in to really set the record straight, to clear the air, to have open dialogue, to answer any questions. They're definitely working very hard to get rid of someone because it's like they've reached their breaking point. They're over it. They're done. It's like whatever manipulation or trick knowledge that person was using to keep them stuck, it's not working for them anymore because now it's like they see the light, you know, and I feel like they had some sort of epiphany or they followed their intuition and they discovered that someone was like working with another person to steal from them. And I feel like they cut those individuals off. That could be like a mother's son. That could be a woman and her, you know, her um, 
you know, her side piece or a man and his side piece, a, a man dealing with a woman who had children and realizing they were being used for, you know, for the finances. But I do feel someone is finally returning back to themselves, you know, and, and realizing that moving forward, they're going to have to stand their ground. They're going to have to speak their truth and you reap what you sow. So whatever type of energy you put into the universe, you're going to get it back. And because I feel like you were very patient, you know, with your process of healing, but also patient with people who may have done you dirty. Um, I feel like that's why you're being rewarded. You know, that's why you have these blessings coming in. And I feel like that's also why you have, you know, ascended into this role of the divine feminine, you know, and this person that you're attracting is also, you know, matching your vibration and your fly, just like that seven, seven, because they've gone through similar experiences. They've had to also, you know, cut people places and things off. You know, so they're going through a death as well, you know, a painful ending, but it's it's helping them to um, transform and, and to emerge as this this very powerful um, divine masculine, same as you, you know, so they could be up in their head trying to figure it out because they don't really know how to approach you because you come off as very mature very wise, very caring, self-loving. And this is the same six. So they could be like up in their head, imprisoned with their thoughts, mental conflict, because they feel this love, they feel this passion. They can't stop thinking of you, but they know the first step is they're gonna have to send that message of concern to that karmic to let them know what they truly feel. And remember we had, um, who did we have? It was the grave diggers. So graves represent, you know, death. So that person that they realize that they have nothing in common with, that they need to cut, you know, themselves free from that person, you know, that that's the, the message they're sending them. Remember grave digger, diggers diary of a madman. So, yep, they're, they're, they're finally, you know, starting to realize it's becoming very apparent. Remember, we had awakening. So this person is becoming aware you know, and they're imprisoned with their thoughts of you, imprisoned with their thoughts of this love that they have for you and becoming aware. This is that same 16, seven, SS seven, you know, always thinking of you, always desiring to communicate and, exp and speak to you, you know, but feeling, you know, like their only escape is work. You could have met this person at work. You could have worked with this person. You could have resided around this person grew up around this person i feel like there's just some sense of familiarity like you know who this is so let's see what else we have let me see i'm gonna give you a very clear message today we're gonna do a deep 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 dive so on the split we automatically see what we're dealing with somebody was dealing with someone that was childish it says child's play immaturity the cards broke up but it also says here, you will be the first millionaire in your family. So whatever you all are doing, Scorpios, this is leading to some sort of success. We already saw that material harvest. So it's almost as if like the divine is acknowledging, as I said, the seeds that you've sown and planted. You know, this is you being that co-creator, setting your intention. You're the alchemist and you're very well off. We just saw privileged lady. So you you have your own coins. You're very independent, self-sufficient, you know, and we just saw that. So you could be doing something that is really going to um, be very successful. We also saw the six of wands, breakthroughs and victories. It says knowing is half the battle. Now you must apply. So I feel that's the energy. You know, somebody has had some sort of aha moment. So they learned something and now they have to apply whatever it is they learn. And it looks like they do so, you know, with this world card, they're going to end things. The world card represents wisdom to me um, because you not only gain, you know, a more experienced perspective, but you have a deeper, more profound understanding and knowledge of self. You come into spiritual alignment. You're wiser. You know how to navigate difficult circumstances. This is also, you know, having a very um, powerful connectivity to, you know, the ancestral realm, the spiritual realm with the celestial energies as well. I feel like a lot of you are master manifestors, especially with that star card there. Um, you know, I feel there's really 
um, this element of you being very powerful, turning your thoughts into reality, you know, um, really being very, um, very powerful in terms of your intentions. And it says emotionally checked out, not worth the headache. So someone is emotionally checked out of a connection. And I feel like this is that person that is about to walk away from someone with this 26 love partnership. They're walking away from someone because they're emotionally checked out. And if someone is emotionally checked out, then that connection is nothing more than uh, uh, an arrangement. You have a roommate. You don't have a love partner. Um, maybe there's a lack of communication or seeing things, um, you know, on the same page. Uh, what did I say about somebody with someone for the money? It says for the love of money, moolah, dough, cheddar cheese, biscuits, greed. So somebody is only using someone for money. And someone realizes that. I feel like somebody finally realized that. Like, damn, they only with me for what I can do. It doesn't have anything to do with love or with a future or even trying to build and grow together. This is just about what I can do. So somebody is finally, you know, there's a death that's that's happening. You know, their feelings. <clears throat> there's a death within their feelings towards another person. And so we got still Dre playing. And this is by Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. So I do feel like this person is still, you know, still doing what they have to do to to heal, to grow. It says sacred space offerings, honor your ancestors, guides and spirit team. So make sure during, you know, this this Memorial Day that you buy, you know, your ancestors fresh bouquet of flowers, pour libation, give them, you know, some sort of offerings. Um, just honor them. Maybe some of you all, like I said in the beginning, could be, you know, visiting some of your, your ancestors um, at their burial sites and, and, and pouring libation, liquor, you know, smoking tobacco, doing um, whatever you can to memorialize their lives. So that could be, you know, a message as well. If you aren't, then you definitely need to be um, just utilizing more time to do so. So it says relax, refresh, recharge, re re so this is your energy, you know, when you're healing yourself, um, you disengage, you know, you go within. That's a lot of that energy after a heartbreak, um, you know, that three of swords, you go into the four of swords energy where you aren't taking action, you're not communicating, uh, and you're just focusing on rebuilding yourself. You're focusing on healing, on, re, you know, rejuvenating your spirit. So I feel like this allowed for you to start seeing things clearer because you, you took that time out. And when you took that time out, you started to see some of the key players and, and what was happening within those relationships. And so what you did was you, you know, you started to uh, do your due diligence to heal. Um, you did what you had to do to um, get stability, you know, and, and, and find stability and security within your own right um, and within your own household as well. Um, but your independence, as we already said, was that's a foundation for your security, your stability and your overall happiness. And so something ended within a family dynamic. And I feel like now someone is mirroring that energy that you're manifesting, that you're calling in. It says you will know, trust your intuition. So someone is now asking their spirit team, their angels, ancestors and guides for direction, for which way to go. You know, what do I do with this situation? And divine is saying, trust what you feel and that's what they're going to do so let's see and with still so they're being still we got still dre so i feel like they're being still they could be meditating contemplating and look at that now they're going to receive the divine downloads and transmissions they're also seeking wise counsel speaking to elders patriarchs matriarchs of the family or going to a master teacher or just speaking to someone who's um more informed and what they get is the answers they were seeking you know, they receive the downloads, the answers, you know, because we got this spirit and initiation. So now they're realizing that they have, you know, these same spiritual gifts and abilities, which draws them even more to you. It says avoid the gossip circles, whoever gossips to you, gossips about you. You know that. And so I believe I said that in the beginning of the reading that you could potentially have people um, that could be trying to lure you into gossip conversations, you know, just trying to get you to. Um, to speak ill of other people and that's nothing more than a setup because all those people are going to do is they're going to run back to the people that they try to get you to speak ill of and tell them everything you said 
and then it's going to turn into a you said, he said, she said, they said, we said, and that's not even how you rock. So don't get caught up in the rumor mills. If somebody comes to you saying, did you hear? Be like, nope, and I don't want to hear and carry on. But don't fall into the traps of of listening to negativity. Um, you got to protect your energy by all means, all strategy. So why is six love awakening firm foundation, the star bad health and courtship here for how whoever is praying on Scorpio's downfall feels or whoever they're attracting. See that Judas. This is a Judas. This is somebody that could be lying to kick it. Somebody that could be definitely, you know, you found out somebody was deceptive. Somebody was really not being their authentic self. And because they didn't take you seriously and think that your your lean back game was strong. Now they're sitting here suffering from heartache and loss. And it says, believe you can and you will. So with this four, this is somebody now coming in to court you, treat you like a lady, treat you like a king. Remember, we had royalty playing earlier. So this is someone that, you know, by guru, gang star, rising power king. So this is somebody that realizes your royalty, realizes your worth and value, and they want to invest. They're willing to build with you. This is someone that wants to establish a firm and solid foundation with you because they've had some sort of awakening. They also realize you have been become more enlightened. You're wiser, you're stronger, and you know who you are now. So with this believe you can and you will, this is like a star, a wish fulfillment, someone wishing and praying, you know, and asking and calling in this energy, calling in this divine feminine energy or divine masculine energy. Believe you can and you will. So someone wants to return. Someone is truly desiring to come back to you while someone else is, you know, speaking with a forked tongue. What did I say about spiritual baths? And we're about to clarify the 46 domestic harmony, the water cleansing. So someone is going to going through some sort of spiritual bath or need to cleanse, clean, clear and cleanse themselves. Uh, we got Rakim and this is called ghetto. So someone has or was dealing with somebody who was just like low vibrational, you know, just somebody who had a very one track mind, just very pessimistic, negative, um, just a victim mindset, lack mentality. Uh, and I feel like, you know, with the spiritual baths are necessary, there is a need to clean, clear and cleanse to release themselves of something. This is also speaking to someone who could potentially be dealing with someone um, you could be dealing with or attracting someone who's uh, healing, you know, those childhood traumas, um, healing their inner child. Uh, but the spiritual baths are necessary is only veggie back and off of the water cleansing. So someone absolutely undubitably needs to do a cleanse um, and they need to do, do so for, I would say, at least um, seven days straight just to, to make sure to ensure because um, somebody is, you know, really working on someone's mind, like they're really mind ucking someone, you know, and these angels and ancestors, your support team is here, but it's like you got to clean, clear and cleanse. I know a lot of people don't believe in it, but, you know, some you, you do have to counter a lot of this stuff, you know. Um, but let's see, why is 46? Thank you. So we have financial freedom, sacred space. So that's powerful. Financial freedom. So somebody could be trying to block someone's money, someone's blessings, some sort of wish fulfillment. This is definitely a need to, like, connect. You got to connect. You got to create a sacred space. Or you need to utilize or spend more time in front of your altars, spend more time out in nature, you know, releasing, re purging certain belief systems because it could be affecting your money. I'm going to place this over here because, you know, I'm not going to double up the cards. I'm going to just, well, it came out with it. So let's leave it. But that is telling me like your ancestors are also showering you with something because this base chakra, like I said, that deals with your security, your stability, uh, your family, your, fi you know, your finances, your job. So maybe some of you all are securing some sort of promotion or there's some sort of opportunity that's going to present itself and it's leading to success, fi financial freedom, blessings. Somebody that was playing a lot of games, mental games, it says she loves me. She loves me. Not games, mixed signals. That's this person. That's this person sitting here, but they were only using them because of greed. I feel someone wakes up and finally cuts them off and they learn to stand independently. 
and not be codependent in this connection. They're returning back to themselves because they're not sitting there falling for the okie doke, falling for the games and the trickery. And so we have right now, we got where my homies, and this is by Ill and Al Scratch. So yeah, so this person is definitely, when I hear um, <clears throat> where my homies, I feel like this person is really like, you know, seeking for, you know, uh, you know, what's familiar. Where my homies, where my people at? When you return back home, first thing you do is hit up all the people that you know still live in that community that you were really cool with. So this person is kind of like, you know, like I said, returning back to self. Maybe they're, you know, trying to reconnect with people they've lost contact with since they've been in this toxic relationship because maybe this person was insecure and kept them away from family and friends. Maybe this is a parent that kind of kept them away from people, telling them ill things, giving them, you know, just the wrong advice, you know. But let's see, why is individuality, homeland, foundation, Patience, the death, and the thief card here for the outcome for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. So it says ringing in the ears. So somebody's getting some sort of sensations. These are the divine downloads this person is getting. So they're having all these sensations, divine downloads, ringing in the ears, itchy noses, synchronicities, bumping into the same animal totems. And these are all signs, you know, leading this person back to one, back to the self. And to cut off what no longer serves them. They're returning back to you. It says it's the chemistry for you. The inherent chemistry. So they feel this chemistry. Which is why they're willing to double back. To return back to you. This is, chem this is like somebody coming back to speak a truth. Especially with this justice. This is someone desiring justice in this situation as well. With this 26. Which is the just <laughs> justice card. Pardon me. Yeah, this person wants to come around your way and we got this journey. So they're going to I feel like somebody's going to travel to see you. They're going to come to your neighborhood because this chemistry. Remember that intensification of the passion that was showing up like somebody's passion, their desire, their fire for you is just growing and building and it's just not going anywhere. And so they're willing and ready to, you know, start this new journey, this new path with you, you know, and they're following the cycles and rhythms of their body. Even though they tried to hide it, even though they tried to keep it secret, you know, their emotions were just completely intensifying and they see you as wish fulfillment. So we have dream catcher nightmares, witching our protection needed. So somebody is absolutely being attacked spiritually, psychically by some crazy fool. Look at this. Somebody who refuses to let someone go because they feel someone is their meal ticket. This is somebody crazy. What did I say? Crazy fool that doesn't want to let them go. This is that same Judas. They're probably doing something, feeding this person things that make them sick, putting their menstrual blood into someone's food, doing those um, witches brew. Somebody could honestly be like poisoning someone. Somebody could be trying to take someone out for the insurance money. They might have an insurance policy on someone's ass for the money. But I feel like there's going to be, you know, Mama Ma'at is always paying attention. So it's like what you do always comes out in the light. So there's definitely blessings being showered upon those who have planted seeds in good faith and who was patient with this process, who wasn't just going around hurting people because they was hurt. Instead, they turned all of that hurt inward and said, let me heal myself. But there's someone crazy who feels very entitled, who's casting spells and doing things to block someone from coming out, telling lies keeping secrets, not being honest. And this is causing someone stress and aggravation. They also feeling heartbroken because they're in separation from someone they truly desire, someone they truly love. You will be the first millionaire. So your hard work is absolutely paying off. You will have a miracle, a stroke of luck, a wish fulfillment, a blessing because of the hard work and energy and effort you put into your craft. You mastered a craft, you sharpened it, you honed it, and that's why you're being blissed. In, the, in, in, in addition to healing yourself. Emotionally checked out, not worth the headache. 
Someone is no longer giving to a situation because they want, they're, they're craving this new path. It's like, this is what they're craving. They're craving to follow their dreams, to go after what they want. They're craving to come after you because according to MC Light, Brandy, Yo-Yo, Queen Latifah, they want to be down with you. This is somebody that wants to be down with you. And they got somebody stalking their life. It says, I always feel like somebody's watching me. So these crazy deranged individual, whoever this person is breaking free from is the person that's crazy. They got a crazy karmic that refuses to let them go because of greed, because of money, because this person is their meal ticket, because this person is wealthy and they are reliant upon them, dependent upon them. So what they're doing is trying to affect this person. This person is heartbroken and they're also lying to themselves about how they truly feel because what they dream about when they close their eyes is courting you, loving you. They want to be down with you, but they're being brought down by someone that they're with. We have this cleansing. They need to perform a spiritual cleanse, bath, wash, purge, smudge their home mop their floors, clean the outside, the inside of their cars, get rid of old jewelry, clothing, things that they may have been given because I feel somebody is definitely doing things to keep someone stuck. This is spirit letting someone know, you know, that you have to think from your higher self. You got to use your first eye to see and not the two in your head because what's destined for you is absolutely here. Don't miss the opportunity. So somebody could be, you know, like I said, going to an ancestor, an elder, a spiritualist, maybe a pastor, a master teacher, a matriarch or patriarch in the family seeking wise counsel. And I feel like this is giving them some hope, but they also have to be mindful that they are always under watch. Somebody stalking them, watching them. This could be somebody stalking and watching your life. Somebody that you've emotionally checked out from that you're no longer giving your time and energy because you discovered all the lies and trickery and games and envy and jealousy. I feel you are absolutely going to be blissed with some sort of stability, security, success, expansion in your life. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that are going to feel like you owe them something. People that are going to return out of the blue that you haven't spoken to. People that are just going to just pop up off the grid it says say less actions speak louder it's not what you think further investigation needed show them how to move in a room full of vultures if you have to force the connection there isn't one it's a two-way street so yeah love is a two-way street so if anybody any of you walked away from a connection because of the lack of reciprocity in the love department you did the right thing I feel your person, whoever you're attracting, is now going through the same lesson that you went through. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope these messages have resonated. I apologize for the long wait. Um, you already know me. I don't do anything unless my energy is right because I don't want to have my energy affect your reading. So I like to make sure that my energy is right and exact. Um, I do hope the messages resonate if you found that it did. Please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification um, so that you know whenever I upload. Uh, if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to a few beautiful souls who have sent me um, some love donations. I just want to give a shout out to Ray Renoso. I appreciate you, beloved. Thank you kindly. And I send and rotate that love right on back to you. And I also want to give a love donation um, to VB, you know, um, thank you also for your love donation. I appreciate you dearly and may it be returned to you infinitely. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, big fat ashe. Love is love is love. Mwah, peace.